welcome to Mrs. Shelton's art room. As you can see, my table is filled with all kinds of stuff. I've got been collecting things from around the house. I have an empty egg carton, some boxes and cereal boxes and containers and bits of plastic bowls that I've kept. I've got some glue stick, some markers, some tape. I've got some paint over here in the corner that you can't see. Our goal today is to make a Picasso uh, mask out of stuff from around the house. I decided to do this project because I kept getting sent uh, messages from people with different postings of people doing these Picasso masks and people asking me if I would do one too. So there's a zillion of these online that you can look at of people doing Picasso mask out of cardboard and all kinds of different ways and pieces of paper. There's a lot of stuff out there on the internet on this. I am going to attempt to try to just create one using only the stuff I have here and kind of using that as my inspiration to make my own weird and wacky Picasso mask. So if you want to go on the internet and look up others online for inspiration, go forth and do that. For me, I'm just going to attempt to make this for you guys. So my goal is to turn this pile of stuff into a Picasso mask uh, and do it as creatively as I can. So I'm going to stop the video now and when you come back all of this will be cleared away and we're going to start the process by creating some eyes and a mouth out of all of this plastic stuff. And now I'm back and I think I'm going to start with my eyes first. A lot of like Picasso eyes have different shaped fun eyes and I'm going to use this as my backing. I found this kind of like circular um, bowl from a frozen breakfast bowl and this is like a piece of plastic that we use to put under like plant pots in my house. And my favorite cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios. So I have an empty box I saved and I'm going to recycle it and turn it into this art. So I'm going to take the box and I'm going to disassemble the box and I'm going to turn it into the backing for my two eyes and then these are going to be, I think I'm going to use them to be my pupil and my iris area for my two eyes. So we're going to start a fast forward as I start creating the eyes for my mask.
I have made some starter things for my eyes and my mouth. I haven't built my note yet uh, because I wanted to start on my face. So I use my Rice Krispies Treats box and I opened it all the way out to try to kind of create my background shape that I might be interested in uh, for the back of my giant mask. Now when you make your mask, you don't have to make your mask as big as mine. I just went big because it's fun and it's what I had. So with this backing here, I decided since um, I wanted it to kind of have a structure that is bigger on top here and then get smaller as we go down to the mouth area down here. So I have room to create some kind of weird shapes and fun things. You see I'm trying to create this kind of weird things. These kind of reminded me of ears if I left left them unfolded. So I decided to like take down this this part of the box to create my shape. So when you open up your box or whatever you have to use, think about the shape that you want to make for the background of your face. So I don't have a lot of room and this is really big so I'm trying to like fit it all in. So I'm going to go back to my back side that I've been working on and I decided I was going to add a little bit of support to the back of mine so it kind of stays straight when I'm working. Um, you can put anything back here. You can just find some sticks from your yard if you want. I had some extra like skewers from cooking. You can put um, any kind of long structure that you have. If you have extra bits of cardboard, like I had some extra left over from cutting out stuff, you could use those as your like support. And I just taped it along the back here to just kind of give a little support because my box is pretty flimsy. If you have like, if you're using a big heavy cardboard box, you may not need the extra support. I just did. So that's kind of what you see here with the structure and the taping to give my shape face. So the next part of the video, we're going to be using our shape here and we're going to be designing our face. So I'm looking at it as this is the top, this is the bottom of my face and I'm going to start putting together ideas and place where I want things. Like where do I want to put my crazy eyes? might put one way here. I've got this kind of weird guy here, but Picasso was kind of strange, so I might off skew them. Maybe I'll stick him way up here and him kind of off to the side here. We have the big mouth down here. I need a nose and some more decoration and I need to start gluing stuff and coming up with a cool background. But you can kind of get the idea of what my giant Picasso crazy mask might look like when it's done. So at this point, when you have these, I would take the time to kind of get your ideas. You might sketch a design first. So from this point on, you're going to see me create the nose, work on the background, and start assembling my mask. 